at the door there, little dog. I killed me there. I can't believe it's you. How long has it been? Kimberly told me you was making black meat burgers. Well, come now, come on in. Have some black bean burgers. Franken Cowboy, get your hair cut. Well, you know, I only get my hair cut once every five years, whether I need it or not. And you know, forget about Franken's haircut. Why don't you shave that beard off? People are confusing us. Well, looky here, handy Dan. Yeah, it's me, it's me. Hey, little doggy, hey, little doggy. Handy Dan, the Makita man. Did you bring your Makita tools with you? Because I'm going to put you to work, Handy Dan. I heard you was making black bean burgers. I didn't even have time to put my shirt on. I was so excited. Little doggy, oh, little doggy. You happy to see me? <laughs> yeah. You like me, little doggy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, you don't. There's my little buddy. It's Georgie. Georgie likes her old handy dad the Makita man. Ah, oh, ha, ha, she looks just like me. Hey, look at those whiskers. Give me those black bean burgers there, cowboy. I told you, cowboy, that we were going to have a house full. A house full of viewers. Come on, one here. To fight the humble joie. Black of being the humble joie. You're just in time. Ben, certain. Don't move on. J'ai fait un esti. J'ai fait un esti. Leon, popping on. I don't mean to look down on you, but you're a lot shorter than I am, you know what I mean? Must be the French in you. Black bean hamburgeois, just for you. So take a seat over there. Don't sit on Hill Billy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, don't sit on Hill Billy. And don't sit on Handy Dan, because we don't want to break his knees. I tell you, I tell you, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. And no, no, don't sit on the dog either. <laughs> I know there's only so much room in this place. Today, folks, you're going to get to see the taste test of the hamburger made by the Reagan cowboy himself. Now, I would not ever buy these pre-packaged units from the store. That would be a lot simpler to do, for sure. But I'm just not that type of guy. I don't buy pre-packaged anything. I'm just old school that way, I guess. And I like to do things from scratch. No matter what it is I do, I like to do it from scratch. So back to these animals that die needlessly. That's exactly what happens, you know. Let's talk about beef cattle. I used to work in a slaughterhouse about 40 years ago. I was there for a year. I worked as a janitor. So I didn't have anything directly to do with the slaughtering of the animals, but I had to go in and out of the slaughterhouse constantly throughout the day. And I was only 20 at the time, so about 43 years ago. And I was pretty disgusted for the first month or so, and then you kind of become desensitized with all the and all the blood gushing out and the cattle don't want to get killed you know they they walk one behind the other and they're forced into the final cage where they get their final blow and then they're shackled and hung up and bled cut you know their their throat is slit and then they're bled and then you have these big saws sawing them in half and, and somebody skinning them and cutting their heads off and then there's a table with uh, where they you know they 
separate the organs and all that stuff. Liver and heart and kidneys. And they get hooked onto a rag. And everybody's got their job to do. My job was pretty simple. I brought the rollers that hung the beef up onto the rails and I cleaned them and picked up the dirty ones and um, in the morning I would move the freshly slaughtered halves of beef and relocate them from one cooler to the second cooler and uh, remove all the shrouds from them and <clears throat> it was a pretty boring brain dead job but at the time you know uh, I was a bee feeder and uh, I remember uh, I'd buy uh, a loin of beef and I'd buy a calf liver and the calf liver was you know, pretty big and uh, we'd slice that up and uh, fry that up I wasn't making a whole lot of money at the time I think I was making, being paid somewhere around $3.80 an hour. <laughs> you know, it's amazing, $3.80 an hour. Anyway, that's not the story I want to tell you. Um, you know, 40 years went by before it was brought to my attention that animals are needlessly killed. It struck a note with me. So the uh, first batch is done. That's what they look like. I've got the second batch on the stove. And I'm about to uh, peel some avocado. And I tell you folks, this is the first time I have ever peeled an avocado. I've eaten lots of it. It's not a vegetable that I would buy for myself because I was for some reason just too intimidated to peel it. But holy smokes, I've done this like a pro. Now I don't know, it's green, I guess it's supposed to be green. So I'm going to be putting this avocado onto my burger. Now, I wonder if this nut is worthy of anything. I do not know. So for all you other old bachelors out there, I put you to the challenge. Yeah, this old grumpus out of face. <laughs> I'm going to put avocado and tomato and spinach on this thing and some mustard. I love mustard. I think mustard is good for you. Hamburger buns. Not something that I would ever buy. So what I like to eat my burger on is uh, Flax and quinoa bread. I toast it up. And there's my bun. If I can find my toaster. There it is right here. My place is a disaster. There's just not enough room in this tiny trailer to be able to move freely. You have to plan everything. And if you've had too many brandy, well, the planning goes out the window sometimes. That's kind of what happened here. But uh, cheers to uh, black bean burgers. Toaster is on. I've got to slice my avocado. Tomato. I bought a swack load of tomatoes. Holy smokes. 
But what I will do is put some spinach. This is as simple as it gets. A little bit of mustard. The taste test is soon to be upon us. But you know, it's got garlic and onion and a few spices. It smells kind of good. I'm going to put a little bit more pepper on it simply because I like pepper and it's good for you. And I might even put a little bit of salt on if I could find the shaker. Here it is. So it doesn't look as pretty as what a woman might make it. I've got a little bit of spinach on here. And that slice of avocado may have to get eaten separately. Squeeze it down so it stays together. And uh, you're about to witness the first bite of a redneck black bean burger. Should I say it's delicious? I think there's a few things missing in it, to be honest. <laughs> but it doesn't taste half bad, you know. It's, it's the closest thing to a hamburger that I could come up with without following a recipe. Yeah, there's a bunch of things missing here. Uh, it wouldn't be bad if I had a side dish of mushrooms. But I kind of forgot about getting them today. Oh, the avocado tastes pretty avocado-ish. Anyway, folks. <clears throat> it's not rocket science. If this old grump can make vegan food and stay alive for longer than a week, so can you. <laughs> I'm happy to be eating this stuff. Spared the life of a cow. That in itself makes it worth it, even if this tasted like crap, which it doesn't. Now, when it comes to baking my beans, I will probably follow a recipe on that because I know there's more to it than meets the eye. And um, I'll do a little research to find out what I missed out on this year. But uh, my next batch will be that much better. But in all honesty, I'm happy. And... Um, <clears throat> I may not be a great cook, but I'm happy. And what more could I want? Cheers. Till next time. Technically, Vegan Cowboy's Black Bean Burger Show is over and done with. But wait a minute, there's more to come. Oh no! Well, we have to show you what happens to the leftovers, you know? Episode 4 will be right around the corner, so sit tight, because we have lots of entertaining hours coming your way to a laptop or a handheld device near you. Oh, and before I go, what do we say, fellas? Subscribe, subscribe to the channel, yeah. And share this good video with your friends. Time I went, what you wait for? Subscribe. And don't forget to share this good video with your friends. <laughs> Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, you heard my cousins. Don't make me have to drill it into you. Till next time.